Ohio Minasan, welcome back to our playthrough of Pokemon Legends Arceus. We are continuing where we left off. I've done a little stuff on the side. So that, uh, obviously, look it! I got my Growlithe kimono! I I've done a couple of things on the side. Got some Pokemon, got ourselves up to a five star ranking. And realized, hold on, let let's go show something, because. I, I swear, guys, please, if you can figure out if I caught this on <laughs> on video, because I, I don't think I caught any Haunter not on here, but I could totally have. Well, look at this. I didn't even notice it. Where did I hide the Haunter? We got a shiny. I don't know how we got a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know that we got one. But look at that, we got one shiny Haunter. And I see how you wouldn't tell, because like literally the only difference is his mouth. And I, he looks like he's just a little bit lighter of a brown color than the, of a purple color than the others. But the fact that we caught a shiny and I, I wasn't even looking for it. Out of the five Haunters I've caught, only one shiny. If you guys, if, if I actually did do this in a previous episode, please let me know. Let me know. Find the moment. Tell me. Um, I'm going to try to look for it myself, but I will laugh so hard if you can see it on the video and I'm just oblivious. Otherwise, I caught it um, while I was just running around like a madman at night. And uh, it also tells me things about the fact that I did not pay attention to the fact that this was shiny. And actually, before we, before we get into anything, I realize I should make sure that this Eevee doesn't suffer the same issues as other Eevees. Oh yeah, I, I also caught a Turt Twig. Oh. Which move should be added? I can't change. Alright, Eevee. We're gonna go and make you learn a move, because I'm not... Hmm. Oh, we'll wait. We'll see what we get. I do like the Growlithe kimono. It looks really cute. Uh, but yeah, see? Look at our, our Pokedex. We've got 81 Pokemon out of 102. So I think that's a good, I think that's a good number of what we've done. I think only missing like 21 Pokemon. I think that's good, especially because one of those is Togepi and I I don't know how to get a Togepi. I know supposedly there should be an area where there's 100% chance. Um, and then obviously Mon uh, there's a couple of other Pokemon that I've been able to see and haven't been able to capture. Um, and so this is, I understand this, and I hope to change this, but still, the, the fact that I'm only 20, I've only seen 20 more Pokemon than I've caught, I, I don't think I've had that in a Pokemon game, because that, that's never really been my point in a Pokemon game. I don't try to complete the Pokedex, because it's not really what I care about. So this is interesting. So you successfully calmed Lilligant. Yes. Excellent. There may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time. Then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning. Isn't that right? Of course I don't have a connection to the lightning. What the hell are you asking here? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impunging. What? Excuse you? Excuse you? I fell from the sky with no memory. Shut up. There you go! Piping hot potato mochi fresh from the stove! 
I feel like I keep changing Benny's voice. I'm trying. I, I'm positive I gave him an annoying voice, but I'm trying. Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research. Topping it off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? Sure, it's nice, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research or with carving out a life here? Ray. Oh, right. Have this flashy new recipe, Aloy. It ought to scatter those gloomy thoughts. Thanks. I've already been using these. Come now. Don't worry yourself so, my boy. A wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. Those words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. The next day. Bright and early wake up, stretch ourselves out. Morning, sleepyhead. You'll never guess what. I'm going to start working at the hairdresser shop. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still going to be Lilligan's warden and all. But I'll be burning the candle at both ends. But I can make it work. Don't you worry. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Owie. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I'm pleased you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. M -m Mr. Kamado, sir. Uh, so, about the whole Ursa Luna situation. If you are to work here in Jubilee Village, you are family to us. No matter who you are or where you were from, welcome, Arizu. And you, Aoi, you will come with me to Prelude Beach. Prelude Beach. Okay. Why? Excuse moi Oh, there are people. Did you guys get a ship coming in? These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. Okay. Why why do they look like they already fit in? Why they they should probably look like they don't fit in like I did and then they they get accustomed to everything. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived here in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. This is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We've heard the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard the Galaxy Team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Aoi here, one of our Survey Corp recruits. Through the combined efforts of our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome newcomers like them. Aoi, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? 
I do. Hmm. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I'm sorry, my man. I come from a time where I can just catch Pokemon and be happy. Never really having to struggle like this. <laughs> it's not in my nature to not love Pokemon. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one of the in the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilee Village. Excuse me, boss. Arita from the Pearl Clan's here. Good. I believe I know what she's here about. Do we have another frenzied Pokemon? As for you, Aoi, you should see yourself how Jubilee Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps efforts. Then you will come to my office. This is so weird not to see any Pokemon along a route. It's like, where's the Pokemon? Nothing. There's nobody along here. Uh, we'll do that another day. I don't want to. I don't want to use the practice field right now. I want to continue the story. We're already a third of the way into the episode. Find out what they want. Actually, how much money do I have? I think I, I, I think I've got enough money. Yeah, we can do it once. Yay! One more item in my satchel. No, nope, because you're gonna charge me nine thousand now, and I, I. I got the money, but I also need that money. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Marylands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of Cobalt Coastlands. I will let you know in advance, there are no Pokemon Nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a Lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. I feel like I'm, I, I, I feel like I did her voice wrong. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the Lord of used to call his home. We also received word from both the Security Corps and Supply Corps. It seems their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Fire's Pit Island. These are serious concerns. And moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this kind of desecration of our late Lord's seat. Normally I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. Oh, I did the wrong voice there. That was Commando. <laughs> That's my bad. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Aoi. Think nothing of it. 
Aoi is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure she will sort things out. Indeed. Aoi Quell, the Lord of the Woods. I've seen her strength and her kindness firsthand. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It's further afield than the Crimson Marylands, much further, and the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission, investigate Firespit Island. Thank yous, I'm out and about. have a request and I all right let's take it even though I can't do anything for you because I'm get I'm guessing I have to have items from the coastland hello again oh you customer you've arrived in the nick of time I'm afraid Tahua is refusing to do business with me again he won't listen to a word I say so would you try to persuade him for me again I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring three pop pods as a token of goodwill Perhaps after this he'll actually accept me. Yep. Unfortunately for you, I'm only here for some Pokeballs. There. Alrighty. Nobody, oh, they're gonna interrupt me, aren't they? Ah, if it isn't Aoi. Oh, Liam. Oh, I suppose it's to be expected that I run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Polina's certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can even evolve some Pokemon. You need to look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Hisui will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind this fact into you here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Thanks. If you, want, if you should want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe the Ginkle Guild has them from time to time. Well, thank you. No more interruptions. We go into the coastlands. We go into the coastlands, everybody. the Cobalt Coastlands, a simply lovely corner of Hisui, sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types? Or flying types, perhaps? Oh, I simply can't wait to study them all! Now I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you've a mission to accomplish. And any questions before you get started? About the island? Hmm, indeed. 
Firesbit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I'd advise you speak to a fellow called Iskan. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens, and he'll surely help you find your way. Find your way. All right, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna make me do? Are you gonna make me fight you? I do love the flute. It feels as though the tones carry the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I'm game? Sure, let's go for it, buddy! Very good. You who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. Battle time! Destroy your glacier with Torterra. Or not. Ow! Did you just murder my Torterra? Well, fine, then you're gonna have a Monferno dealing with you. go. I love how she also just gets like an Eevee to tag team up on me. It's like, what the hell? It's so unfair to have... I understand in the wild, but like, we're not in the wild right now. You shouldn't be able to have an Eevee just like helping you. We'll evolve our duwad in a second. Huh. <sighs> now I feel better. The world is vast, and I am small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. I know I gotta heal one Pokemon. Alright. With you, I think you can be... I think I can be frank. I cannot afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader, or your commander, but in truth... I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, I have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. But she tends to know Lord or Lady, and she's not raised a successor to fulfill the late Lord's empty seat, either. Some people have started to question her worthiness as a warden at all. But Lita, that is to say, but Lena, that is to say, Helena, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass each other. But she taught me a great deal, too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading you to, onto the ridge. Alrighty. Now, first off, let us evolve the what? Because I want a Samurai. 
Slight difference that I think looks it, it looks it looks good. How many of you can I cut for? <laughs> I'm just running around throwing Pokeballs at Pokemon. Seeing how many we'll get. I gotta get three of these pods. Oh, look at that. I caught three. I got three. Oh, ooh. Hello. I will mark you in a second. Mark. Alpha Pokemon. Not dealing with you though right now, okay, buddy? Ah! Damn it! I'm running away, I'm running away, I'm running away! Pokemon here for that artillery. I'm not here for you. Macho over here, Machamp over here. Kind of weird. Oh, I didn't mean to. I forgot I had my Pokemon out. that I had the Pokemon out. Mm. 
What the hell? All right, what's the map look like? So that's where we need to go, but we don't really have time for that. How do I get back up there? to wait until next time thank you everybody for joining me i will catch you guys on the next video where we will find out a little bit more about this coastland bye everybody